So I guess it's okay what that female did tonight, isn't it? Oh, but nobody wants to look at that, though. Huh. Go figure. Mistreating someone, I'm supposed to let that go. No, and she's the one who caused the one of problems. She should have never took his phone, started flirting with my fiancé, Cody. That's where the problem's at. Nobody's not seeing that for what it is. Nobody wants to look at that situation. Hmm. I don't like being abused. I don't like being mistreated. Oh, but they don't want to mention anything about her. That girl from Illinois, who I snapped on. Oh, but they don't want to look at that, though. But it's okay, though. When people want to sit there and disrespect me, oh, that's okay, though. That's not being looked into. That ain't being looked at. It's like they're letting that slide. Okay, I remember that. I don't like people mistreating me, disrespecting me, and sticking up for that crap. People should know how my mother was. She didn't tolerate that. Uncle Mark Dolph didn't tolerate that disrespect from nobody. My family don't even tolerate it. It's really pitiful. Woman started some stuff, but that's not being looked into. It's like people don't care. It's like they're going to neglect that, though. No one she wanted issues tonight. She was wanting smoke. Nobody wants to look at that scenario. Oh, what's the matter? I got kicked out of the casino because I snapped. Oh, well, you know, people shouldn't be starting stuff. Especially disrespecting me. I don't let that slide. I don't let that crap go. I take that as once a female starts coming at me, disrespecting me, and people sticks up for it, that's a problem. I don't take that too lightly. For anybody, actually. And she should have never took that phone and started flirting. Knowing I was sitting on the couch, she had no clue nothing about it. Oh, but nobody wants to look at that. Nobody wants to look at that factor. Oh, but she's so innocent, isn't she? That woman is so innocent from Illinois. She could do no wrong, huh? That's real lovely. No, people like that irritate me. My mother didn't like people like that either. Uncle Mark Golf despised people like that. Well, no, there's just some people who think that's funny and cool and go, ha ha, you were disrespected, but that's not being looked at. That's being ignored. Okay, I remember that. Mm-hmm. That just says about them. That's all I gotta say. I don't care. A hoe is not gonna try me on my fiance's phone. I heard her. Doing what she was doing. She took that phone. Started being a dumb home. Over the phone. She didn't know I was sitting on the couch either. Then she tried me tonight. Oh, but that's not being looked at. Oh, but that's okay. It's all, uh, but it's okay to let that slide. That a girl from Illinois started on me. No, oh, but that's okay though. No. Most people don't let that slide. Oh, but if it happened to them, you know, for a fact, they're going to say something. No, and I was talking about that girl from Illinois, and that's not getting through someone's head. But being disrespected is okay. That's going to be ignored. Okay, I remember that. I remember that. People stood up for that. Okay, I remember that. I was talking about the girl from Illinois. People can't seem to get that through their skulls. That's okay, though. I remember that. That just shows who they are. Uncle Mark Dolph sure did not tolerate disrespect from a man or a woman. And I kept saying, 
I'm talking about the girl from Illinois, and nobody can't seem to get that through their brain. Nobody can't seem to get that through their skulls. They just want to say what they want to hear. Oh, but what she did was okay, though. You know, that's abuse towards me. I don't take that too kindly. Anybody. Anybody who truly knows me. If you're a woman and you're trying me over my fiance's phone, you ask for issues. She wanna smoke tonight. That ain't gonna be sticking up for. Her. And it won't. I don't let that slide. People mistreating me like that. And then I get into a mood where I'm not very nice. I'm not a very kind person. It takes me a couple of days to get over it. Or I'll hold a grudge towards that individual because she was going to try to come over here. Oh, but nobody's looking at that. Nobody's looking at a hoe. She's trying to be a homewrecker. Oh, but nobody wants to see that. Everybody wants to ignore that. Okay. I remember that too. It's just hilarious how people wants to hear what they want to hear. I kept saying it. The girl from Illinois, the girl from Illinois who caused issues. No one can seem to get that through their head. Oh, but that's okay, though. But that's okay. It's all going to slide. No, it's not going to slide with me. Not when you wanted to smoke tonight. The girl from Illinois started some crap with me. I'm not going to let that slide. I don't like people abusing me or mistreating me. And freely said to my face, she was going to come over here. You're out of your mind. Oh, but that's also going to be ignored, too, because she's so innocent from Illinois. Oh, but that's okay, though. What she does. Oh, it's okay for her wrongdoing. Oh, like she's so perfect. Like she's little Miss Princess. You know, she tried to be a homewrecker and tried me tonight. She wanted it. She started it tonight. I'm not going to let that slide. I said it, the girl from Illinois. That's what I'm mad about. That's what I'm insinuating. Hmm. Kind of weird. Took JD's phone. I seen it. I argued with her. I called her a dumb bitch. Told her she was a hoe. She tried me tonight. Girl from Illinois. Uh huh. Oh, but I forgot. That's going to be ignored too. She is so perfect. She could do no wrong, knowing she purposely wanted to smoke tonight with me. The girl from Illinois, I keep saying it, the girl from Illinois, the girl from Illinois, tried me tonight over my fiance's phone. Oh, but that's going to be ignored. Oh, but it's okay, though. It's okay. She mistreats me. Oh, it's okay. She wants to disrespect me. Oh, it's okay. She wants to come over here and fuck my fiance. No, it's not. She wanted the smoke. She should have kept her fucking mouth shut. I don't let that slide. People who abuse me, they do it. I don't tolerate that. Even Uncle Mark Dolph didn't tolerate that crap. Neither did my mother. She didn't tolerate that. I don't give a shit if she was drunk or not. I don't care if she's drunk. That's no excuse. To be flirting with somebody's husband or a fiance. It's no excuse. Because she started on me. No excuse on her end. No excuse. No excuses. That, that excuse, that drunk, is out the door. I don't tolerate that. Neither did my mother. Neither did Uncle Mark Dolph. That woman should have known better not to do that. Knowing she called him when I wasn't upstairs. No excuses. I don't care if they're doing that. No, they're not minding their own business. Apparently, this girl wanted to start some stuff. Apparently, I guess, I guess a drunk girl gets away with everything, huh? She can get away with murder, huh? That's what I'm talking about right here. There's no excuses. No excuses. It does not matter. If you don't know how to hold your damn liquor and you don't know how to control yourself, then don't talk to anybody. Because people who are engaged or has a husband don't like that stuff. People don't take that too kindly, and it's not a compliment. There's no excuses here.
That excuse is out the door. Yeah, I did have to bring names up. Because it looks like I'm going to have to get a hold of some people. Because of that girl from Illinois. I don't care if you're drunk or not. That's no fucking excuse. You're a poor ass fucking person. You know how to hold your fucking liquor. And you know how to control your fucking emotions. No excuses. That shit leads to shit. And she was talking about coming over here. To fuck my fiance. When I wasn't home. No excuse. I wasn't home last night. She was asking him, are you home alone? No excuse. Because. That girl ain't going to be saved. But it's okay, though, what she did, though. But that was being looked at. I don't take that too kindly. I've, I've seen that happen so many times towards him. And women don't know when to back off. If you don't know how to hold your liquor, don't fucking drink. That's just common sense. Yeah, I said Jay Aldrich for a reason. He will stay out of it, too. I did say people's names. I will say Hell's Angels, too. They will know about it, too. They know people have been screwing with my relationship. They're well aware of that, too. They're well aware. <laughs> They're well aware of women like that. From every person, every place. They know how my mother was. They know how Uncle Mark Dolph was. You just don't do that. And they've known for a very long time. Where these women live at too. They know their friends too. You know what? Then you stop helping an abusive bitch. Who just hit on my husband. And getting away with it. I'm not going to tolerate your abuse either. Or Johnny's. I don't care. It's not okay with what you guys are doing. And what JD allowed, I'm not okay with that either. That's abuse towards me. Oh, but it's okay. All you can have everybody else's mouth and their names too. But it's okay for what the drunk bitch done. Huh? That's okay? No, it's not. My mom didn't tolerate that crap. She was alive. Where do you think I'm going to tolerate it? No. I just got back home. Now, my mood's all fucked up. I didn't come home to fucking drama. I didn't come home for whores to call Cody to get me upset. She wanted smoke tonight. That's her stupidityness. Then she should have left my fucking husband alone. I'm not saying you're with him. I never said that. I said the fucking Illinois, bitch. Get your fucking ears Listen, I said the girl from fucking Illinois, you don't fucking listen. This is who I got a fucking problem with, who JD was with, what she tried me tonight. You need to clean out your fucking ears. I'm not going to let a bitch do what she does and abuse me. I don't like that crap. I don't care if you're fucking drunk or not. I didn't come home for this bullshit. I didn't come home for the drama. She literally took his phone, started flirting. I don't give a flying fuck. I'm not a nice person when a female does that to me and to my face where I could hear it. She was doing it knowing she didn't know I was on the couch. I don't like that crap. That don't fly with me. I didn't say you were with him. See, that's the thing, though. I keep telling you, it's the girl from Illinois. It's the girl from Illinois. And you keep wanting to say, you're with them. I know you're home. It's the girl from Illinois who caused fucking shit down here. What's she caused? It's got me fucking pissed. No way, you better stop. Y'all ain't gonna fucking threaten me. No, wait, you guys better knock it off, too. Oh, but, it, but, but it's okay for a drunk girl 
to come after me, but you guys allow it? Huh? But th th that's okay, though. So you guys want to gang up on me, too? J just like that fucking whore of a bitch tonight? Screwed with me tonight? Oh, but that's okay? That's more than one person ganging up on me tonight. I don't like ganged up on. I don't like being ganged up on. Oh, but that's okay, though. It's okay what she calls tonight? No. She should have never grabbed his damn phone in the fucking first place. That's what drunks get. They get the wrong attention. She can't handle her fucking liquor. She don't need to be fucking drinking. I ain't ganging up on yous. I'm talking about what that bitch did tonight. That fucking slut did. And you want to switch my words around. You want to talk about everything else. I knew you guys were home. Bullshit if you ain't ganging up on me. Bullshit. Because your daughter's texting me. That is technically ganging up on me. Duh. I can see the texts. It's about that girl from fucking Illinois tonight who caused issues. It's what I got a fucking problem with. No one else. That's your guys' fucking problem. That's your guys' problem. I didn't say you were around, JD. I knew you guys were home. It's that fucking girl from Illinois that tried me tonight. And I do have a right to speak up upon it. And you guys allow that shit? You can't fucking control your liquor? Stop fucking drinking. No, Cody's not gonna call JD because that fucking whore ain't gonna fucking start again. That hoe ain't gonna fucking start nothing again. JD should have never gave that whore the phone in the first place. She asked if he was home alone last night. Oh, I forgot. That's not being mentioned. Oh, but that's okay, though. That she was going to come here. Oh, but that's okay. But that's okay, though. That's okay, though. Cody's not going to call JD. It's that bitch who needs to be putting fucking check for Illinois. Then you need to understand, I'm talking about the Illinois girl. That's my fucking issue. I know Jeremy just watched a few minutes ago. Jeremy Wolliver? Oh, yeah, he was on here. And he knows I'm pissed. He knows it. That girl from Illinois better fucking get herself a check. You don't try me and say you're going to come over here and fuck Cody when I wasn't home. That's the main fucking issue. That hoe needs to quit drinking. Seriously, if you cannot control your liquor, you shouldn't be drinking. You don't need to be flirting with everybody's husbands either. That's no excuse either. I don't give a shit about her. She calls me issues. She started some shit. Oh, but you guys didn't know that one, did you? You didn't know that one, did you? Oh, I bet you she can't tell you because she's so fucking drunk. Oh, but she didn't She didn't tell you that? That she wanted to come over here and fuck Cody when I was at home? Oh, she tell you that one, did she? Did she tell you she was wanting to come over here, stir some shit? Did she tell you she was trying me tonight over the phone? No, I should have caught it on record. I should have caught it. That's who I have an issue with. It's what she pulled tonight, and I seen it with my eyes, and I heard it with my eyes. That girl's got black hair. This girl from Illinois, who I got an issue with. That's not cool. Knowing how I am, she had dummy for that shit. I don't tolerate much. I don't give a shit if she has a way up here or not. That don't mean she can fucking do that and get away with it. No. She tried me over the phone. I don't give a shit if you're drunk or not. I don't like drunk people trying to fight me over the fucking phone either. I don't like that crap. I don't like it. That's a weird demeanor. I don't give a shit if she got way up here or not. She don't need to start shit on me. On purpose. She literally took JD's phone, just started. Yep, 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 yep. Not
told her, why are you flirting with him? She didn't give a flying fuck about it. That's the worst mistake on her end to do to me. I don't like that. I don't like drunks like that. I didn't start shit. Your daughter can shut the fuck up. That drunken bitch from Illinois started the shit. You ain't throwing it on me. I promise you that. Your daughter better back off of me. That drunken bitch started it. Your daughter better back the fuck off of me. I'm not being ganged up on. That girl from Illinois started shit, and it's going to be that way, and you ain't going to turn it around on me. I fucking bet money on it. That drunken bitch started shit from Illinois. People will back the fuck off of me. That drunken bitch started shit. Bet on that. It ain't going to be turned around on me. I didn't start shit, and you ain't going to project on me. Fucking bet. My family will know about this, too. That you guys are trying to pin it on me. Projection. So you're protecting the drunk. Okay. That looks really good on you guys. No, she tried me. Okay. That looks really cute. Okay. All right. Nice. Mm. Oh, but I forgot. It, it, it's okay to let a drunk girl get away with everything, right? Oh, but it's okay for a drunk girl to start shit too, huh? Oh, that's normal, right? That's normal too, right? I'm supposed to sit here and take stuff like that? You're out of your fucking mind. That bitch should have never took the phone in the first place, then we wouldn't be here tonight. It's that girl from Illinois. Who the fucking problem is? You ain't gonna project nothing onto me. That girl should never done what she did. That put me in a very nasty mood. And I ain't gonna let it go. I'm probably gonna hold a grudge. Because of that. I don't I don't get along with people who are drunks and wanna fight me. Waiting on your family, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, just like you beat my fucking mother when she was pregnant. Okay, yeah, that's real lovely. What, so you could beat on me too? Hmm? Huh? Just like you beat on my fucking mother when she was pregnant with twins? So Johnny's telling me to show up over there. He'll be waiting on the porch, so you're threatening to fight me? You better hope Uncle Bear and Grizzly don't hear about this. Uncle Grizzly and Bear has been in town. My cousins have been in town. It's because you don't like it because I'm going off about a drunk bitch who's in the wrong and you can't stand it. That I'm doing right. You want to do wrong. You're letting her do wrong and I'm trying to get it to where a right's going to be right. You guys can't handle that one, can you? I said something about my mother. Fuck, I will. I know about it. Uncle, Uncle Storm? Papa Bill of the Hells Angels knew Johnny beat the fuck out of my mom when she was pregnant, made her lose twins. Uncle Mark Dolph knew about that, so did the Hells Angels. So, you really want to keep going? So what, you want to beat me just like you beat my mother? Is that how you really want to play? You didn't think I didn't know that, did you? Uncle Mark Dolph knew about it, so did Bear, so did Uncle Grizzly. They knew about what you did to my mother when she was pregnant. So, you really want to go there? Waiting on the porch, huh? Don't wish that. Don't wish that upon my family right now because they're showing up. So, you really want to keep going with me? Knowing you kind of mistreated my mother when she was pregnant. You beat her up. Made her lose her twins. Oh, but you didn't think I didn't know that one, did you? You didn't think I didn't know that, did you? Oh, but the Hell's Angels knew. So did Uncle Mark Dolph. Bear. Grizzly. 
Uncle Mark didn't want to tell me nothing. Because he knew it would tick me off even more. About what happened to my mother. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You didn't think I didn't know, did you? You beat the crap out of my mom, did you? Lost twins, huh? How do you really want to play, Johnny? How do you want to play, Johnny? No, you watch your fucking mouth, Chrissy. You're my half cousin on the Williams side. Shut the fuck up. This is about my mother, bitch. She ain't your fucking mother. This is about Sherry Lynn Williams. Shut the fuck up to stay the hell out of it. My mother was murdered. You better shut the hell up and stay the hell out of my business. Stay in your fucking lane. Because you know I'm speaking the fucking truth, don't you, Chrissy? Oh, but it's okay that my mother was beaten and lost fucking twins? You better shut the fuck up. You better stay in your lane before the Hell's Angels get involved. I bet you they'll all show up the fuck here. Bear and Grizzly? Oh, yeah, they've been in town. <laughs> I've seen them. I've seen my cousins. They are around here. They're all coming. So you really want to play that? You want to play that about my mother, huh? And I bet you Uncle Bear and Grizzly is going to be shocked that I found that out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so you treat me like shit because you treat my mom like shit? Hmm? Huh? Is that how you really want to play with me? This is my fucking mother I'm talking about, Chrissy. You better shut the fuck up. Stay out of it. My mother was murdered. Your mother's still alive. Shut the fuck up. Oh, but you don't know that because the Williams kept secrets too, bitch. Mm-hmm. I found out some shit what the Williams have pulled. Now I found out what you did too, eventually. What you did to my mother. The Hell's Angels are letting me know things, Johnny Mings. So you want to keep playing that game, huh? You want to keep playing that? We'll go there. I don't give a fuck. We'll go there. The Hell's Angels will come to me and tell me things. And Uncle Mark Dolph knew about you being a woman beater. So you want to try me about my own fucking mother? Sherry Lynn Williams, you want to fucking try me, bitch? You want to try me about my mother? You want to beat me just like my mother that you did? Hmm? Huh? I bet you Uncle Grizzly and Uncle Bear would love to come down here and wrestle with you. Wouldn't give a damn. I bet you they won't come alone. I bet you it ain't the same chapter as what my family is. They will definitely hear about this tonight. I don't give a fine fuck. How'd you feel? There's been a lot of secrets hidden from me that you think I didn't know about. My life's been at risk, and you knew about it. So what the fuck's up, Johnny? You know people try to murder me. You know the Illuminati's after me. Since I've been a baby. Because my mom told you. So is the outlaws. They fucking told you. My mom told you this stuff. You didn't believe her. She was murdered, Johnny. You didn't think I didn't know that, did you? What are you going to do then? What do you gotta do? Yeah, it pisses me off. You didn't know I didn't know that, did you? What you gonna do? This is my mother we're talking about. My fucking mother who gave fucking birth to me. What you gonna do, Johnny? My family will come to me and tell me the truth. Huh? You don't scare me, Johnny. Neither does your wife, neither does my half-cousin. Uncle Mark Dolph taught me how to deal with people like you the day he fucking died. The Hell's Angels knew shit was gonna break down. Huh? Uncle Mark Dolph knew this day was gonna come. And they've been well aware of who's been mistreating me and what's been going on. My family will let me know more. What you gonna do? What, you're gonna beat me just like you beat up my mother? Am I actually gonna have to get a hold of a Retired Hell Angel, I know how to get a hold of him if I have to find out about you, what you did to my mother. I will too. And he knows me since I was a little baby. It ain't hard to get a hold of him either. He's retired. It's not hard to find him. I bet you he's going to hear about this too. Oh, you didn't think I didn't know that, did you? Hell's Angels have always been around me. They've always been watching me, Johnny. Oh, but you didn't know that one, did you? No, because you're naive. Because you thought I was dead and gone because you let people do what you're doing. What you going to do with that? You're going to argue with me then? Or are you going to argue with me about my own fucking family? 
My family's been murdered off, and you don't get two flying fucks about it. Huh? You don't scare me. You don't intimidate me. I bet you my family will find out. I don't give flying fuck. I'll let them know from California. I'll let them. I'll let every one of them know. And I know once Baron Grizzly hears this shit, knowing what you're saying, mm -hmm, it'll be fair game then. Then what you gonna do? Hmm? Huh? I found out some secrets that were hidden from me, and I ain't too happy about it. What you gonna do, Johnny? Yeah, you literally thought all the secrets were hidden from me, did ya? And it ain't. What you gonna do? What you gonna do with that? My family's showing up. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? Hmm? Huh? I have every right to know who my family is. They were kept from me. The Williams ain't no better than what you're doing either. There's secrets that I know about that you was hoping I didn't know about either. And I know about Uncle Mark Dolph. He said the day he passed away, this crazy shit was gonna happen. She's gonna hit the fan. What you gonna do with that? I can easily get a hold of that retired Hal Angel. I know where he's at and I know where he lives. So how you really want to play, Johnny? He ain't going to like it once he finds out you threatened me and my family. When it comes to me, he knew my mother. He says any dude who threatens me, he'll take care of it. So how you want to play, Johnny? You got connections, so do I. So what's up? What you going to do with that? So now, are you all going to let people keep abusing me? Or are you going to put them in fucking check and stop the fucking bullshit? Stop fucking irritating me on purpose. Hmm? Huh? And some people from my past that knew my mom? No, why? Why stop, Chrissy? It's my fucking family. It's my fucking mother. What's the matter? You can't handle the fucking truth? You better shut the fuck up. You better leave me alone and let me fucking speak. You ain't gonna shut me up. You are messing with Uncle Mark Dolph's side. You have no idea what that side can do, woman. You ain't silencing me, because you know the truth's coming out, and you know it is. You didn't know anything about my mother. You didn't know anything about these secrets, did you? It scares you, don't it, Chrissy? You're my half-cousin. Oh, but you didn't know that. Cousin Brittany put a hit out on me with the fucking outlaws. <sighs> Funny thing is that she was possessed by Nina. Oh, but you didn't know that one, did you? Of course you don't. Because you're too wrapped up in your guys' ass with thongs in your asses, and you don't even care to know what I know about. Why do you think I act the way that I do? Why do you think I'm so protective over myself? Now, are you going to get drunks? Stay the fucking hell away from Cody. This would not have happened if that drunk bitch would have behaved herself. What you going to do? I'm not fucking playing. There are people that knew my mother will get involved. There's a whole bunch. I promise you, they will. They will get involved. There's a whole bunch of them. And if that retired hell angel finds out what I'm yelling about, screaming about, he will get involved too. So how about you stop and let me speak? I've been silenced for 29 years about what I know about. Nobody knows anything, but they do. Some of my family members from the Hells Angels are scared. I found out some things on my own. I found out the truth they were hoping I would not find out about. Some of them are nervous. None of them are scared because they knew this day was going to come. I was going to be a ticking time bomb. I have every right to know the truth of what people are trying to do to me my whole life. Oh, but you don't think about that. You think about your damn selves. That's what you do. Did you even know my mother was murdered at the bar because of Nina Pew? Oh, you probably didn't know about that one, did you? Plus, when I was a little girl, when I was a little girl, do you know what happened to me after my mom was murdered? After Nina got Uncle Mark Dolph arrested, you know what happened to me? I was kidnapped and almost raped by the son of silence. Oh, did you know that? No, the fuck you didn't. So maybe you need to get people to act right, put them in fucking check. This would have never happened. I stand up for myself. I don't allow nobody coming at me like that. It scares you that I know the truth. Get the fuck over it. I'm going to find out more. Now, 
Are you going to tell that bitch to act right? Or are you going to tell her to shut the fuck up and leave me alone and leave Cody alone? This would have never happened tonight. I'm done being attacked by whores. I'm tired of my relationship being attacked. Now, are you going to act right? Are you going to put her on a leash? Or are you going to act right? I got a whole bunch of people coming out of me. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. And then plus that code is out. That my life is under attack. Uh-huh. I'm also a medium too. My That code that my life's in danger because of the Illuminati and the outlaws, that's been signed out. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Bet you that. I bet you that makes you nervous too. Now. Are you going to act right? Or are you going to tell that drunk bitch, leave him the fuck alone? I'm tired of people bullying me. I'm tired of people coming at me, and they will fucking stop. I will be respected. You don't have to like me. I don't have to like you. But you don't have to come at me stupid. You don't come at me sideways. You don't have to come at me like that. I've been nothing but nice to you. And then you want to act like that? Oh, but when I start speaking the truth, it scares people. Well, gee, they, even even Uncle Mark Dolph said, the day I found out more truths is going to scare the shit out of people. Because you guys don't care. Care about your damn selves. What you going to do with all this information that I know, Johnny? Huh? What are you going to do? Are you actually going to tell that drunk bitch to back the fuck off of me? Or am I going to have to call down my mother to do something about it? I'll call every ancestor down here and take care of that drunk ass bitch. Don't fucking play with me. Don't fucking play with me. It scares you. Krissa doesn't even know anything about what's going on because it was kept from her. Half of my cousins were, were the Williams told them have nothing to do with me. This is why. The day I found out the truth, truth was going to come out. I was going to scare a whole bunch of people. And the people that knew my mother, Sherry Lynn Williams, they were going to think, oh, crap, Emma knows. They knew this was Uncle Mark Dolph said it. There's going to be a day in time. I'm going to scare the shit out of a lot of people with what I know of what I understand to what is going on. Mm hmm. I really don't think you want me to keep getting downloads. I really don't think. You want my mother to keep coming through. I really don't think you want Uncle Mark Dolph. I really don't think you want the dead brotherhood to keep coming through this damn phone. They do come through me. I do let them come through me. You are some of passed away Hell's Angels, the brotherhoods, speaking to you. You got Uncle Mark Dolph. You even got my mother speaking to you. You don't know that about me. I'm a medium. I can have people come through me like my mother. I can have Uncle Mark Dolph come through me. I can even have the people that's passed away come through me. And it'll scare the shit out of you. That's how I know things. You gotta get her to stop? That's the main fucking problem. I'm gonna go and get off of here. Fix the fucking problem. Alright? Have a good night.